Is this product one of the best brain boosters on the market? Does it provide better effects than coffee without its side effects? How about its taste? Well, I've been using it for an entire month and I have loads of tea to spill. Here's everything you need to know about the Rainbow Dust by Space Goods. Hi friends and welcome to Your Inception's YouTube channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and on this channel we are on the hunt for the best products to boost brain performance. If that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on all future uploads. Meet Rainbow Dust, a unique coffee alternative loaded with adaptogens and mushrooms to help you generate energy and focus while boosting tranquility levels. It is one of the most exciting coffee alternatives I've tried because it is supposed to provide many of the caffeine positive effects without its side effects. But is it worth substituting with your regular cup of coffee or nootropic supplements? Well, let's just get right into it. Today I'll be talking about the benefits of drinking rainbow dust on a daily basis, how it stands out from the rest of the coffee alternatives I've tried, its much raved taste, the do's and don'ts of the supplement, and of course, my final verdict. But before I move on to any of that, I want to tell you why I decided to purchase rainbow dust in the first place. Now, I've seen this product all over social media. I even came across quite a lot of people reviewing it on TikTok and Reddit. Now, a lot of people were talking about how it contains chaga and cordyceps mushrooms for wholesome goodness. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. Now, rainbow dust is a real-time coffee substitute, so you're supposed to have it every morning for an eventful and energy-packed day. It does contain 80 milligrams of coffee extract, so it's not caffeine-free. Now, a regular cup of coffee contains about the same amount of caffeine, so there isn't a huge difference here. Now, people repel coffee because it increases their dependency on it, it causes crashes, it negatively impacts their sleep, etc. Now, when coffee becomes a part of your morning routine, it's hard to let go of it. The after effects of coffee include exhaustion, jitters, and to some extent, anxiety as well. That's why the rainbow dust was designed to reduce the caffeine side effects. It relies on the power of cordyceps mushroom, chaga mushroom, and other tropics to boost energy, cognition, and immunity all together. So does this product really deliver the results we all need in the morning? Well, from my experience, I think it definitely packs a great punch of energy. The effect is strong and also noticeable, and it also lasts a good three to four hours. Now, to be honest, I expected such result because there's 80 milligrams of caffeine in it. Now, I find this amount of caffeine a bit concerning because this energy rush is definitely coming from it, not from the other compounds. So it is possible that you may experience jitters or anxiety as you would in drinking a regular cup of coffee. As a matter of fact, I experienced a similar crash after drinking space goods than I do with a regular cup of coffee. So many of the claims that the brand makes are not totally correct, at least not based on my experience. But moving on to the taste, I find it way too sweet. It does taste better than many of its alternatives, as it is somewhat of a blend between rich cacao and chocolate, but there is just too much of sugar, well, stevia, uh, pinching on the palate. It also tastes very much like cacao, which not everyone will like, especially not in the morning. As far as my research is concerned, I've seen quite a lot of people hating this taste, so yeah. Well, unlike some other energy shots, Rainbow Dust tastes better, just way too sweet. Another issue with rainbow dust is that they used sucralose as a sweetener until people got really mad, so they switched to stevia. Now, sucralose is a synthetic sweetener, so while the brand was promoting their products as 100% natural, they used the synthetic sweetener, which is a big red alert for me. Since I've tried a lot of different coffee alternatives, I felt the need to supplement them with a creamer or sweetener to adjust the taste to my preference. But for rainbow dust, I feel like this is an all-in-one drink, so you probably won't need to add anything. In fact, you might even need to dilute it because of the extra sweetness. Now, before I share what happened during my 30-day test, I would like to point out that I'm not a big fan of the packaging of rainbow dust. The powder comes in a Ziploc bag, and as soon as I open it, the dust fell all over my clothes. And when the bag got empty, I always got my hands dirty, sort of like with protein powders. Just so you know. By the way, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz, link in the description below, to get personally catered recommendations about some of the market's best nootropics that could be the perfect choice for you. 
Okay, so now let's talk a bit about my personal experience and how I felt after I used Rainbow Dust by Space Goods. Now, I used this coffee alternative for an entire month to give it a good chance to prove its worth. I usually enjoy my morning coffee nice and rich, but also healthy, so that's exactly how I made this product. I use it with water and various plant-based milks. Now, after sipping one whole cup of rainbow dust for the first time, I felt nothing for the first 10 to 15 minutes, but then the effects started kicking in. The effects were very similar to the cup of coffee. I got the energy boost, I felt more focused and very motivated. After about two hours or so, I started getting slightly nervous and anxious, and then the effects started winding off. Now, I took the full dosage on my first day, which is like three scoops or eight grams of powder as recommended on the package. And for me, that was just too much of sweetness and too much of caffeine. So the next day, I decided to lower and cut down the dosage in half. And not surprisingly, the effects were weaker, but I didn't have the jittery feeling. So if you don't react well to caffeine, I don't think rainbow dust is for you, at least not the full dosage. The longer I was drinking rainbow dust, the more I got used to the too sweet taste. But at the same time, I saw that it works very similar to a cup of coffee. So this doesn't mean that that's not a decent alternative to coffee, but its effects and side effects are similar to coffee as well. With one big difference, rainbow dust contains a few very powerful tropics for brain performance. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, first of all, the powder contains a trio of mushroom. So there is a lion's mane mushroom that contributes to long-term benefits for the brain as it is responsible for growing new nerve fibers and therefore acts as a good memory booster. The cordyceps and chaga mushrooms work together for the wellness of the body. They enhance immunity and also add to your physical strength so you can feel energetic for long periods of time. Now, I've tried a couple of mushroom-based coffee alternatives and most of them are really bitter, but rainbow dust has eliminated that bitterness of the mushrooms by adding in quite a lot of sweetener. Now, moving on to the rest of the ingredients list. We obviously see a significant amount of caffeine, but I see another excellent ingredient, which is ashwagandha. Now, ashwagandha has tremendous physical and mental benefits. I've used it as a supplement alone, and it really does lower fatigue and makes you active. This, combined with the maca root, can also contribute to enhanced libido, but the levels of maca are just too low to expect any effects anyway. Now, I don't think it's really smart taking ashwagandha in the morning, but well, if you're gonna drink rainbow dust, you don't have another option. Then, we have rhodiola rosea, which is yet another herbal nootropic, and it is said to improve concentration levels. Sadly, the level of rhodiola is also very low, so you can't expect any serious effects from it. And lastly, we have vitamin B5, which is probably in the formula so that the company can make certain claims about the effect of the product. I'm not sure if the type of vitamin B5 is natural or synthetic though, but it doesn't provide any serious effects or benefits. Now, before we talk about the pros and cons of this product, let's quickly mention its price. The regular monthly price is $62, but if you subscribe, you can get it for $49, which means that you paid about $1.30 per day, which is very reasonable in my opinion. Now, if you want to try it out, there's a discount code below, which will give you an additional 10% discount on your order, so feel free to use it. So to wrap it up, let's skim through a few pros and cons that I noticed about this product. First, the pros. The effect is prolonged and strong, and it can help you get a lot of work done. It provides other benefits, such as improved brain function and better immunity. It does taste better than most of its alternatives. And that's where the pros end. Now, let's shed a light on the cons. Now, the first and foremost downside is that it's too sweet for me. They could have gone easy on the sweetener. I'm also not a big fan of their packaging. The amount of rhodiola rosa is way too low. The ingredients quality seems to be quite low. And since there's a significant amount of coffee in this product, I can negate the after effects of the caffeine coming through. You may or may not have trouble sleeping and the same goes, uh, for nervousness and anxiety. Now that we've reached the end of this video, let me conclude by giving you all my final verdict. Now, Rainbow Dust is a good coffee alternative, despite many negative reviews I've come across. It delivers what it promises, and it's not a mild or incompetent uh, coffee alternative. It's quite the real deal. But it also comes with some of the adverse effects associated with coffee. 
Now they can easily be avoided if you lower the dosage and stick to the morning regime, but then again, you won't get the benefits of other potent compounds in this product. So I don't think this is the best product out there, but I'm sure some of you will like it. But if you're searching for the strongest brain supplement on the market, watch my video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.